everybody, welcome back. Um, in this video, I did wish I could do it in the, my other video, but it just went for too long. So in this video, you will see the chicks finally hatching. So let's get on with the video. This is day 20 today. It's the official pipping day. So tomorrow will be the official hatching um, date. And last night, well, in the morning, it was about four in the morning and a, uh, I, Maggie uh, was vomited on my bed, so I was up and I just checked on the incubator and I saw that one of the um, eggs had a little um, little pip in it, so I'll just show you what it looks like. So it's very condensation y, but this little egg here, see that little white bit on it? It has, that's where it is and it's coming out there, so probably tomorrow um, it will hatch uh, we can kind of just give you a better look so there it is anyway so um, yeah there that's been like that for about four or five hours um, and probably Probably tonight it will um, hatch most likely so it might hatch tonight it takes um, 24 hours for them to hatch um, from pipping so that's what pipping is where there's that little uh, bit there so they can get air um, and so far there's just that one um, so there's just the one pipping um, so yeah um, give you an update if anything else happens so yeah day 20 okay so it's day 20 still and if you can hear that there's a little chick uh it's still inside the egg just where is it um just there and it's been cheeping um it's a little light. so Yeah, it's been like this for a couple of minutes, um, about 20 minutes. It's been in this kind of uh, position. And so far I haven't seen any other chicks pipping, but there's a lot of eggshells um, and it's made a lot of noise. So it is very cute and Maggie is unsure of why there's a chick inside my room but it um yeah it's doing a pretty good job it, it's done this all by itself you shouldn't help a chick um hatch it's just um there's all sorts of reasons um and you don't want to open the lid unless you're getting the chick out and into the brooder but i do have to wait until it's dry and obviously fully out of the shell so Hopefully, maybe tonight it may be out of the shell, or um, and probably tomorrow on day 21, um, I will be moving into the brooder. As it just came out, it came out so early, I can't really get a good pitch. There it is. And Susie, my border collie, is gonna is thinks that she's the mother, aren't you, darling? You've been watching them, watching them. So I can't believe it came out so quick. Like it started pipping at uh, four in the morning, and what's the time now? It's now one twenty, and it's hatched. So usually it takes around twelve to eighteen hours, and it hasn't. It's been pretty quick actually. So that's amazing. Um, how quick it's hatched so now I just need to wait for it to dry but it might it might stay in there the whole night or might come out tonight it depends how quick it dries hey Danny it's just so small and it's very cute anyway so I'll give you an update uh, very soon oh it's on its little back
trying to learn to walk. Let's give it a bit of light. It's a cutie. So I've noticed with this chick, it's toe here. Let's just focus. This toe, this toe here has actually got a cut on it. And it's actually quite weak on this leg. It won't properly stand up, so I'm not sure about this one. Maybe it's because it hatched really quickly, but I'm not sure. This leg is just really weak. It does move it, but it's just really weak. And this toe is bleeding. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. So I'll give you an update on this little guy um, later, but yeah, I've just noticed that it's bleeding on its little its toe here, and its other leg is really weak. And then, don't jump off. Come back here. So I'll give you a little update later. Okay, so it is still day 20, the official pipping day. We've got another little... Where is it? Another little one pipping there. Um, we've got this little guy back there who's uh, gotten stronger by the minute um, and can walk much easier now. Um, I do need to check on that toe, but I think it's going to be fine. Um, so this guy, this little guy will probably hatch um, tonight or in the morning. So this little guy, he will be... This is really blurry. Um, so that little guy, he'll stay in there tonight um, till the morning and then I'll move um, that one that's hatching out with this little one. But this one's getting very strong and is able to walk much better and its toe um, seems to be getting much better as well. So it's definitely fluffed up, it's just got a little bit on its back that isn't as, um, isn't fluffy yet. But anyway, so this guy will... I reckon it will hatch tonight sometime or early morning. So yeah, little update and I'll probably see you guys in the morning on day 20. See you guys on day 21. It is day 21 and we just had one hatch at, I think it's 8.40. It's up the back there. And then we got a little guy pipping here. So we'll have a better look at it later. So we have chick number one is doing amazing. Uh, it's about two days old now. Chick number two is one day old and is also doing great. So this one, boy and girl. Um, temperature in there is, well that is probably about 50, 55 degrees in this spot under the heat lamp. And this is probably, the sand is probably... 30, 35, and in the middle is around 40, 45. But they seem to be doing good. We just move that. Now I'll just show you. Come on. The heat lamp is doing good. You can see that red bit. But um, this one's still learning to walk. Um, oh, that one's doing great. But this little one here, you grab it, uh, put a little sh uh, mark on its leg. If it a little sharpie mark on its leg, um, and its toe, it's a bit bruised, um, but it seems I think it's gonna heal up fine. So this is a little boy. Um, this is a little girl, and I'll do another video on how to um, feather sex them. So this one likes to be nice and warm. That one's. Um, not too concerned on being that warm, but anyway, so if I go like that, they do come to the finger thinking it's, um, their mum, and this is how you teach them to eat, you just go like that, and they'll peck at it, just like you're pecking at it. Um, and I probably don't actually need this spit over it, I only have that so dogs don't get to it but anyway but they seem to be doing good we just had another one hatch um 
which will be in, is in the incubator till tomorrow. And there is another one that's pipping, but I just don't think it's doing that well. So anyway, I'll give you an update later. So it is day 22. You would have just seen that chick just hatched. So we had those last two that um, just hatched. Um, and so it is now a day old. It is in the brooder with the other two. And I think, and I think they're sleeping. So I'll just show you. Okay. They're all in there. Move the cardboard. So, the one you just watched hatch is this cute little fluffy thing. So, I think this is all we've got um, at the moment. So this one's really red and it's just so cute. Um, so, let's just show you this little guy. This one's just adorable. So cute. And this is the... <laughs> First one born. Hey. That's the first one born. Uh, second one born. Um, okay, so also with the chicks, um, I put a little colour on their chest. So this is blue. It's, it probably needs a bit more. So we got blue, which is the first one born. And then we have green. These aren't like going to hurt them. It's just on their little feathers. We have green, second one born. Red, um, third one born, and then we have black, which is first one born. So that's just so I can kind of tell what ones what, because sometimes it can be a bit hard to tell when they're this young. Unfortunately, I do think they're the um, only ones that are going to hatch, which is actually a really bad hatch rate. But for my first time, I didn't really understand many things. Um, and now I kind of understand that I was definitely opening the lid way too much. I shouldn't have opened that lid nearly that much. Um, so with my turkey eggs, duck eggs and guinea fowl eggs, I'm just going to actually have them out in the shed. They're going to actually sit here right next to the brooder. So they're not in my room. They're not where you often are. So you don't, you're not so tempted to lift the lid up and pick the eggs up or chicks up. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, my process of hatching some chicks. Um, and I hope you learned from my mistakes. Don't open the lid often. Um, and before that you go into lockdown, day 18, put a heap load of water in as much as you can so you don't have to fill it up during the lockdown process. So I hope you learned from my mistakes and see you all next time.